All right, guys, so we have some big, big, big news coming out of the Supreme Court as Justice Stephen Breyer has announced that he will be retiring. Okay, so this is some good news for the Democrats because this guy was getting up there in age, right? This dude is in his 80s. And uh, the last thing that the Democrats would want is to wait till after the midterms and one of these guys either retires or uh, basically passes away. Uh, and then there's a seat that has to be filled with a Republican majority in the Senate, which could happen after 2022 midterms uh, if the Democrats get blown out like we think that they will, right? So the timing of this retirement from Stephen Breyer is kind of a gift to the Democrats. It gives Biden an opportunity to nominate uh, his first uh, Supreme Court justice and to get a young liberal in there right to kind of you know help them keep uh what's left of you know the liberals on the court right now you can arguably say that the court is stacked against them that is you know three uh liberals to six conservatives maybe uh four liberals to five conservatives if you throw uh justice um roberts in there as a liberal right which some conservatives basically say he's a liberal at this point but i'm just saying uh democrats this is a gift for them Okay, now you would think during a time like this where somebody is retiring, okay, from such a prestigious position, a position that requires a whole lot of experience and knowledge over the years, okay, um, you would think they would be talking about the qualifications, like the real qualifications of somebody who is going to replace that person. But instead of talking about that, right, they're actually talking about race. As uh, the squad has basically come to collect on Biden's promise that he was going to put a black woman on the supreme court okay because biden made that campaign promise and now uh the progressives are saying hey here's your time we now need a black woman to be on the court now i want you guys to understand we they're not saying we need somebody with experience and knowledge that is the most qualified person they're saying no no, no we just need a black woman we don't care how qualified she is we didn't just need a black woman okay and what they fail to mention is um they also need a black woman that agrees with them, right? Because I'm pretty sure if Biden nominated, I don't know, a, a conservative woman to the Supreme Court, let's say Condoleezza Rice. Not that Condoleezza Rice is actually qualified. I don't think she's a lawyer or has any real legal background, but I'm just saying. If there was nominated a conservative black woman, uh, I don't think that her blackness would count, right? I think her blackness would go out the window. So, um, yeah, this is what's happening now. The conversation is about the race of the person that Biden's going to replace Stephen Breyer with, not necessarily the qualifications and the skills of the person, which in my opinion is how we kind of have got here to where we at in this country right now, where we have an unqualified vice president um, who's shown us that affirmative action simply is not a good idea, okay? Um, and who knows, that may be the black woman that Biden ends up nominating. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but let's read here. Members of the Progressive Squad have quickly responded to news of Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer's retirement by calling for a black woman to take his place. It's past time for a black woman to be named to the Supreme Court, Representative Cori Bush, a Democrat from Missouri, tweeted on Wednesday. Fellow squad mate Jamal Bowman, Democrat from New York, similarly reminded President Biden of his pledge to nominate a black woman. POTUS, you promised us a black woman on the Supreme Court, he tweeted, using the handle for Biden's account. Let's see it happen. Quote, we're putting together a list of African-American women who are qualified and have the experience to be on the court. I'm not going to release that until we go further down the line and vetting them as well, Biden said in a press conference on uh, June 30th, 2021. In addition, Biden promised on a campaign trail to ensure a black woman is nominated. Quote, we talked about the Supreme Court. I'm looking forward to making sure there's a black woman on the Supreme Court to make sure uh, we, in fact, get everyone represented, he said during a Democratic debate in uh, February 2020. POTUS, it's time for a black woman on the Supreme Court, said Representative Ayanna Presley, uh, a Democrat from Massachusetts. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. To make sure everybody's represented. What happened to the Asians, <laughs> right? What happened to the Asians? Okay, we got a black man on the court. We got uh, Clarence Thomas. I mean, he's a conservative slash libertarian, so they don't really see him as black. But I'm just saying, I don't hear this conversation when it comes to Asians. Why is it just about black women? Why, why not an Asian woman? Why not an Asian man? Are there not any qualified 
uh, Asian judges that can go on the Supreme Court. Again, I find it fascinating how this works, right? And you know what's funny is that these people pretend like their lives are going to be better if a black woman is nominated to the Supreme Court. I mean, again, we have a so-called black woman, right, uh, Kamala Harris, as the vice president. What has she done? She has absolutely failed at her job. Absolutely failed at her job. But y'all got a black woman, though. You got what you wanted. But you also got inflation. You also got historic crime. You also have a border crisis that Kamala's supposed to be in charge of. Okay? You didn't get so-called voting rights that Kamala's supposed to be in charge of. Right? Uh, we got Afghanistan. Like, like, what, what did you got out of Kamala Harris being vice president? You haven't got anything out of it. You guys are still begging for them to actually do something. Right? You're still begging for them to do something. So, again, I, I really don't understand this whole conversation about it has to be a black woman. When, no, 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 you really should be having a conversation about, no, no, it should just be the most qualified individual, period. Okay? Because you're not having these same conversations about other races. I don't see any Asians on the court. Why can't Asians be on the court? Why can't we nominate an Asian woman or an Asian man? That's not to say I don't want to see a black person on the court. Of course I do. But I'm not going to put that first. I'm not going to say, oh, well, it has to be somebody black. No. It needs to be the most qualified person regardless of their race, period. But, hey, this is 2022. Uh, Fox News confirmed Breyer's intent to retire on Wednesday. Breyer has been a justice since 1994, appointed by uh, President Clinton, along with the late Justice Ruth uh, Bader Ginsburg. Uh, Breyer opted not to step down the last time the Democrats controlled the White House and the Senate during Barack Obama's presidency. Ginsburg died in 2020, and then President Trump filled a vacancy with uh, with a conservative justice, Amy Coney Barrett. Breyer's retirement will likely uh, reinvigorate debates about court packing, which have surfaced in response to Coney Barrett's and then Judge Merrick Garland's nominations. All right. So, Biden's nominated a judge. The woke revolutionaries are telling him to nominate a black woman, right? He promised that he was going to nominate a black woman. However, again, what I find interesting is that in order for him to actually push this nomination through, um, they have to get the approval of Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, two people that the Democrats have started calling racist, right? I, I want you guys to understand. Joe Biden said that if you're not on my side when it comes to voting rights, right, or getting rid of the filibuster, then you're on the side of the Confederates, okay? You're like Jefferson Davis. You are se you're a segregationist. That that's what Biden said. Democrats have joined him. Progressive joined him as well as basically calling Joe Manchin racist, and white supremacists and now they have to depend on these two racists right in order to actually get their black woman on the court and i really want to see how joe manchin and kirsten cinema are going to react to this right the fact that biden is probably going to pick somebody based off their sex and their skin color right he's probably going to use affirmative action i want to see if they're actually going to go along with this right are they actually going to vote yes on this because it would be hilarious to me if he did that right if he nominated a black woman to the supreme court bench and kirsten cinema and joe manchin said you know what y'all spent all this time calling us white supremacists and racists and just because y'all called us that we're gonna say no <laughs> right we don't think she's qualified enough we're not going to confirm her that would piss them off right <laughs> these people would absolutely lose their minds they would lose their minds <laughs> they would know how to handle it and that, in my opinion, would be absolutely hilarious, right? It would be hilarious if that happened. But again, I bet some of these people now are regretting calling Joe Manchin, Kiss the Cinema, racist and white supremacist, okay, for uh, going against Joe Biden's filibuster and voting rights uh, agenda. Now that they have to depend on those same people in order to actually get the beloved black woman that they want on the Supreme Court bench, right? Ain't it funny how that works? You might want to be careful when you start calling people racist and white supremacists. You, you just never know when you might actually really need them. Because I, I don't think it's a foregone conclusion that Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema are necessarily going to sign up for Biden's pick just because she's a black woman. Right? I don't necessarily think so. And with all the backlash they've been getting, I, again, I wouldn't be surprised if they're holding some grudges against some of these progressive Democrats. And this would be the best way to stick it to them is for them to deny them their hopes and dreams of having a black woman on the court. It would be absolutely hilarious, in my opinion. Again, not saying that I don't necessarily want one. I'm just saying 
This whole conversation should not start with your race and your sex. It should start with experience and who's qualified. If a black woman is on the list, then a black woman's on the list. If she's not on the list, then she's not on the list. But that's how the conversation should go. It shouldn't be, oh, black woman first, <laughs> and then we'll look at the qualifications. That's not how it should work. And the last thing here is that this presents an opportunity for Biden to get rid of a black woman, right? To get rid of Kamala. Because there's been rumors uh, before that if a Supreme Court seat does come open, then Kamala could be nominated as a Supreme Court justice in order to get rid of her from the vice presidency. That way, the Democrats will have a say in regards to who is going to be vice president, which basically would... Uh, take Kamala out as next in line to replace Biden and get somebody fresh in there that has a better approval rating than Kamala Harris, right? They said that Pete Buttigieg was supposed to be the guy, right? Pete Buttigieg was supposed to be the guy, okay? But who knows? With Hillary <laughs> and her name now being out there, who knows? Maybe Hillary is uh, the woman, right? That would be an opportunity for her to get back into politics, right? Become the vice president and then to maybe run in 2024 and take Biden's place. Who knows? Okay, that's all speculation. That's all out there speculation. So this is some interesting stuff. Let's see what happens. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.